everybody, welcome to Dave TV for the 23rd of March 2016. Just doing a uh, a uh, super, super fast edition. <laughs> Thought I'd keep these real short, see what happens. Um, so anyway, um, the latest ratings show WMAL in kind of a slump. You wonder, what's a righty political talker doing having a slump in a banner election year with presidential election and Cruz and Trump and Hillary and all that stuff? What are, what's causing their ratings to fall? I mean, normally WMAL is, you know, 7th or 8th place. Now they're down to 16th place in the latest weekly numbers. Um, you know, I talked to the folks over there at MAL who run the place, and they're all just saying, don't worry, it's just a blip, things will get better our cum is still good whatever that means um but still you know you gotta wonder that's odd isn't it in fact the latest ratings there's two stations here in washington that are owned by cumulus that's wmal and wrqx well wrqx has been in the ratings meltdown the last couple years since they got rid of jack diamond almost three years ago and flipped their format from hot adult contemporary mix 107.3 to uh, DC's 107.3 with contemporary hits and Sarah Fraser in the morning. And you know what? Their ratings plummeted. Now they've gotten Jack back after Jack's traveled the country in a bunch of failed radio gigs. Um, and they're back to mix 107.3. And the ratings are starting to slowly climb. And in fact, in these latest numbers for the 1st of March, they were actually, WRQX was 15th place to W. Um, Mail's 16th place, so that's kind of strange. Um, I don't know. I, I think that a lot of the uh, a lot of the uh, WMAL problem, I think, is the uh, is just a fatigue event. You know, I think people are just tired. It's it's like a predictable station. They're just very reliably conservative Republican, which would would probably sell well in small market America or medium market America, but in a big city like Washington, which is pretty much the political capital of the world, at least the Western world, um, you know, I think we're a little more sophisticated than that, and I think a lot of people that would be potential listeners of WMAL would do better by uh, a little more of a mix-up and a little more of a confrontational atmosphere on WMAL instead of just the same righty opinions spewed over and over and over again you know I enjoy listening to MALA there's some folks I do really like I like Larry O'Connor in the mornings I think he's a pretty funny guy but you just sit and listen to every show and they say the exact same thing Larry says the same thing as as Chris Plant who, who says it in a more brutal kind of pig-headed way but you know Rush Limbaugh and and, and uh, Michael Savage they all they and and Levin, they're all saying the same thing over and over again, the same opinions, they have the same, you listen to the morning show, and while I do kind of like it, it's the same people, the same guests over and over, the same guest hosts, it's very male, it's very white, it's very kind of oriented to suburban northern Virginia. I don't know. I think they really need to take a few chances and go out of the outside the box a little bit and maybe uh, broaden the, uh, you know, bring a few liberals in as regular guests. I mean, they do occasionally, but not very often. They may be some guest hosts, maybe some co-hosts that, that aren't quite the uh, dyed-in-the-wool conservative stamp-up-for-approval kind of people. That's what I'd think. I don't know. Cumulus is kind of a backwards company. They've kind of driven their a lot of their major market stations into the ground. And, uh, you know, again, you look at Mix 107.3. I mean, yeah, they're up to 15th place, but they're in a brutal battle with CBS's Fresh 94.7 and Hot 99.5 and even Wash. That's iHeart and CBS. Um, you know, how much further are they going to go with this, you know? various uh, confrontation, uh, the conundrum of a uh, hot adult contemporary format. I don't know. It seems like it's almost over oversold in the Washington market. There's almost too much of it. You know, it's almost maybe time that they just blew the station up and started over with something fresh. Or maybe sell the station. Or, or maybe, uh, you know, CBS could do something, put El Zal on 107.3. It certainly could. Uh, certainly, uh, that El Zal would be a top 10 station if it was on a better signal, right? All right, anyway. So that's my uh, rumination there. WMAL, what's up with that? <laughs> Down the tubes or just a temporary blip? Thanks for watching Dave TV for the um, 23rd of March 2016. Don't forget to hit the like button. Please click on the like button and subscribe, won't you? Thank you very much. Adios.